Alright, uh, welcome to a quick Crimmer settings tutorial. I know some people are having trouble with the Apache. It feels twitchy and uh, a little bit oversensitive perhaps. And uh, first of all, that's just a matter of getting used to it. But it also has some effect on the Crimmer settings. So if you haven't done so already, hit escape. Just controls and look for force trim. So set this to a uh, hat, for example, should be the best option. So up, down, left, and right. We will only concentrate on up today, all right? So remember that just force trim, switch up, hit OK. Then press right control enter to bring up the controls menu. So, as you see, we're all centered. The red crosses here indicate where your trim is set. So, if I press the uh, force trim up now, I've trimmed my anti torque pedals to the left. So, right now, my physical pedals are centered they indicate slightly to the left or right. So recenter, hit the trim. And if you notice this part, this is where my pedals actually give input. So if I press them to the left, this is my input right now. Now if I trim it, you see this is where I want it to be, but since I haven't recentered my pedals, it's all the way to the left here. And in flight, that will cause us to turn quickly to the left before we have time to recenter the pedals right now. Now, this is a setting in the options menu under special items, the Apache. I'll just demonstrate real quickly how. It behaves when we take off and when we fly. And we'll have a look at the how I want it to work. So applying left pedal and be gentle on the uh, collective in the Apache, at least in the start here, as it's uh, it adds a lot of torque. So you can see I counter with my left pedal here, just keeping it quite steady. Now, if I want to maintain this position and I want to point this way without pressing my pedal to the left the entire time, I want to trim it. Now if I trim it, it will first jump to the left because I don't have time to release my pedal that quickly. And recentering, and all comes wobbly. And some control again. So let's give some airspeed, or get some airspeed. I'll show you the same thing happens when you push the stick forward. So applying a little bit more collective. And 60 knots. And applying right pedal just to uh, steady things up. So when I trim now, you can see on the control stick here, my trim is down here. My actually, my actual input is here. Thank you too. Now be quiet, please. Now if I trim it, and I don't have, or if I'm not that extremely quick to uh, return my stick to the center, I'll have a nose dive. So trim and nose dive and. By the way, I'm making everything more, everything worse than it should be right now, right? But you get the point. So in order to let's pull up, retrim it, and let's redo that again. Radar, seven o'clock, searching. I love the uh, the radar callouts in the Apache here. All right, so pushing stick forward. In order to avoid the nose dive, I need to return the stick to the center right away. See? That worked. But again, 
if I push the stick forward and don't return the stick to the center right way, I'll apply even more down stick. So let's take a look on how to fix it. So close, go up to options, special, find your Apache, the H64D, and my module came with cyclic trimmer and pedals trimmer mode to instant trim, force feedback friendly. That may be force feedback friendly, but it's not stick with spring friendly, right? So change this to central position trimmer mode. As for the pedals, the same should go for most pedals, right? So most pedals should use central position trimmer mode to avoid the effects we just saw. Now I'm using the new Verpal Ace torque pedals, which means I can adjust the torque on them in order for them to um, to not centralize themselves, all right? So in my case, I'm using pedals without springs and without force feedback, because when I, when I press and release my pedal, say 20% left, it will stay at 20% left. It won't stay at 100%, for example, because I do have a spring in it, right now at least. So it won't, uh, it won't stay all the way to the left or all the way to the right. Uh, but I'll go with this one. Pedals without spring force band. Central position trimmer mode for the cyclic. Press OK. Now go to instant mission again. Ramp, hot start. So while we wait, just remember that a few hours in the Apache will get rid of uh, most of the twitchiness. Uh, you'll just get used to those small very sensitive movements of the uh, of the aircraft. It'll keep getting better the more you fly, of course. But getting the trim right is extremely important, right? So, again, let's press right control, enter, and make sure everything works while we wait for the guy to finish his talk here. Check your controls. Everything's fine. Now, alright. So let's try trimming again. So I've got my pedals. Left here. When I trim now, you see, the trimmer just jumps to where my pedals are. I don't get that extra, you know, this one at the same time. And in flight, this will mean I don't get that you know, fast launch of, of left input, which means I can stay stable. Now, like I said, my pedals are a little bit different than, uh, than most pedals out there. So if I put them to the right now and release them, my feet are off the pedals, but they stay in that position. All right. Now I can't make them stay all the way to the right at, at my current settings with the spring I have attached. So releasing, and that's where they stop. But anything below that, I can just take my feet off the pedal and be happy with it. Now, as for the stick, let me try that again. Let's put it up left, trim. You see that? You see the weight actually sticking there. Now, right now, I'm pushing my stick all the way up here, and nothing happens. This is because with the central trimmer mode, nothing happens with the trim, or actually the trim happens but nothing else until you return the stick to the center. So now my stick is centered and I have full control again. Alright, so central trimmer mode, if I go up here to the right, trim it, and I return the stick to the center, and now we can use it again, all right? If I don't return the stick to the center, I can't use it. I'm pushing the stick all the way forward, and there we go. So you have to return the stick to the center in order for it to work. Now let's re-trim it down here. 
and center. So let's try one of those takeoffs again. So applying left pedal, applying some quite gentle collective, and pick up airborne. Now, do you remember that hard left turn I got before when I trimmed? Let's take a look at that again. So, trimming, nothing happens. Stable, very stable. Right? And let's go and get some airspeed. So, pushing stick forward, applying some more collective. And I still, you know, I only have a few hours in the Apache so far, just getting used to the flight model and handling. So I'm still, you know, quite wobbly all over the place. Alright, let's get some more speed before I do any uh, trim changes. Now, if you remember last time when I hit trim, at this airspeed, my nose took a nose dive and left roll. So let's try that again. So trimming, and nothing really happens. It's trimmed, but I'm very stable. So if I return my stick to the center now, I'm all good. All right. And of course, you have to retrim it. Much like the uh, KA50, when you uh, when you change speeds, basically. So let's drop the collective. Let's pull back on the stick a little bit. Let's retrim it there. So just do the trimming in small increments. Don't try to go from 140 knots to zero in, in one trim. That'll uh, cause trouble for you. And make sure you don't lose altitude too fast, especially at low speeds. Counter with left anti-torque pedals when you get get slower. Two is very loud today, alright? And you can do another trim. And you see me wobbling there left and right, that's because I've uh, pretty much just discovered that I had the trim settings wrong. And we're good. All right. So I've just changed to uh, to the different trim settings here, especially with my pedals, which means I'm trying to uh, counter those uh, muscle memories of the uh, hard left uh, rudder input. And as you can see, as long as you make small movements with the stick and rudder, she's a very stable aircraft. And there's the loud too. All right. Oh, a little bit of a frame rate drop there. All right. Anyway, so this is the first video I record with a super wide screen, and let's see how it turns out. Any questions? Post them below. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope it helps you. Until next time, have fun and enjoy this beautiful, beautiful module.